Hey guys, what's up? It's Glory BBG 101 here, and my friend Derek Crawford. What did you just do at the Lenexa Kansas Regional? Uh, I got top 32, uh, specifically uh, 23rd place with uh, generators. Generators, and you're the one who kind of showed me and a lot of other people what this deck was capable of. By the way, nice mat. <laughs> you were. I was definitely expecting a play mat, but no. It was Dio. Yes. All right. So going into this event, what did you actually expect out of your deck and yourself? Um, I expected to uh, drop round four. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I definitely wasn't expecting to do well. You, you can ask Dalton. He, uh, <laughs> he he had to reassure me that I do find my last few matches. <laughs> but uh Overall, I think I think it did really good. Um, it has a really good matchup against meta right now. Uh, the one thing it struggles against is other decks that have a better grind game. Right, because the grind game, whenever I've played tested against it, yes, it has a really good grind game. But if you can out-resource it, that would be the main weakness. Yep. All right. So what were your matchups that you can recall? Uh, yes, I actually have a list. All right, perfect. In that case, we'll start with your two losses, since those are probably the two most memorable. So my two losses were to Mathmech and True King Dino. And how'd you feel about losing to Mathmech? Um, I knew I wasn't going to win it, because I have no clue what the deck does. Uh, I don't think anybody does. It's like, as soon as he normal summoned his first card, I'm like, cool, I lose. <laughs> cool, what? What? I don't even know what this card does. Was it the same guy who got third place? Yeah. All right, so you can definitely understand losing to someone who can get third place at, a, what was it, 290 players? Yeah. Yeah, 290 players at a regional, and Mathmex got third. All right, so what other kinds of matchups did you have? Um, I had a Spiral matchup, which I won. I had a Block Dragon BA matchup I won. I had a Hero uh, that I won, a Paleo that I won, a Pendulum that I won, and a Ancient Warrior that I won. How was that Ancient Warrior matchup? Um, it was my last matchup, and it was a bye. <laughs> Are you... wow. <laughs> Alright, so, without further ado, show us this magical deck profile. Alright, so, starting off, we have the bad card. We've got Triple Lone Fire Blossom. Uh, Lone Fire Blossom being the only normal summon in the deck... Uh, just tribute it off and special summon uh, Mardell, who is the searcher of the deck. So whenever she's normal or special summon, she can add any generator card from deck to hand. So it's really helpful whenever you open this and no field spell. You just normal that, special her, grab the field spell. Mm -hmm. And it's automatically just a bit of a combo starter. Yep. Because all you need is, what, one card just to be able to get to your boss stage, is it? Mm-hmm. Freaking awesome. Then we've got two, Hella, the boss of doom. Uh, she has an effect that says you contribute one generator monster or one zombie monster to special summon one generator monster or zombie monster from your graveyard in defense position. Uh, really good whenever you are running low on resources in the deck. Uh, it also helps with um, playing around like imperm and stuff like that oh yeah i'm sure so and then the mvp of the deck we've got two utgard you mean buster dragon yes buster dragon he uh he has the effect to tribute any two generator monsters to target a card on the field and banish it uh which most decks do not have a way around right now <laughs> which is almost scary and i've fallen victim to that card so many times. Yeah. Then we've got another bad one. We've got uh, Frody, the generator boss of swords. At least it looks cool. Yeah. Um, she has an effect that says you contribute as many generator monsters as you want to uh, target that many cards on your opponent, or that many monsters on your opponent's side of the field and destroy them. But your opponent draws cards equal to the number of monsters you destroyed on their side of the field. Alright, so question. Isn't that 
still good if you're just going to OTK them more than likely. Yeah, it is also really good if you have Jolene Rockford. Mm hmm. Because it's an optional drop, so you can just roll and then you get three pops. That's a good point. Then for the one of, we got one Naglepot. Seems like a Genjutsu with uh, Protect. Mm -hmm. If my opponent would destroy a card or cards I control, I can destroy a generator monster I control instead. Okay. And then one Nidhogg. He uh, has the effect to tribute one generator monster to negate a special summon. Uh, unfortunately, it's only an errant summon, so I can't like use him to get your invocation, which is sad. <laughs> pretty good. Or my Dark Magician whenever I use Eternal Soul. Yeah. And then banish it. <laughs> uh, onto the spells. We've got three Generator Pops Spade. Uh, this is the heart and soul of the deck. So this says whenever your opponent adds a card from main deck to hand, including their draw phase, you can uh, once per turn special summon a generator monster from your deck in defense position, and then uh, card once per turn whenever a generator monster is special summoned from the deck, or whenever a generator monster is special summoned, period, uh, during your opponent's turn, you can fill the rest of your main monster zone with uh, tokens. Alright, so quick question. Did you ever run into Nibiru like I did to you whenever you did that? Not at this event, actually. Got yourself lucky, I'm getting you next time. <laughs> and then we've got three Box Quest. Uh, this card helps with Ricky Fang. Um, it says, uh, reveal one generator monster from your hand uh, and add two generator uh, spells and traps with different names from your deck to your hand. So it's Essentially, a free field spell if you open up a brick. Mm hmm. But there are so many ways to get to your box phase. <laughs> yeah. There's Triple Lone Fire, the three of himself, the three box quests, and the two Mardell, was it? Mardell, and then we've also got a cat card later. That's basically Metaverse. Yeah. And we play three uh, Monstrosity. Uh, Monstrosity is also really good. Um, because if you don't draw into a field spell, or you don't draw enough lone fire, or you don't draw enough quest, you can uh, use this to summon Mardell from hand and get three pops. Hmm. Um, that is pretty good. Also, I've been using this as a, uh, let, let's just say, a way to make many people happy. <laughs> oh yeah, it works on me. <laughs> I can attest to that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, so three pops of something. So, quick question: Why choose that over Inner Seer? I feel like banishing is better, um, especially against Spiral, because uh, if you banish the last res or the the resort, it it hurts. <laughs> <laughs> so I I opted for Cosmic Cyclone over it because help, life points don't matter, really. Mm -hmm. All right. We may want to pick up the speed a little bit, by the way. Okay. It's running low on space. Uh, three Super Poly, because it's Super Poly. Right, kind of self-explanatory. <laughs> uh, double Extravagance. Um, I didn't want to play three because it was cloggy, and two, two has done me well. Okay. <laughs> I got one thing to say. All I can say is that you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> and now onto the traps. We've got triple boss fight. And that's your metaverse of sorts? This is the metaverse. This activates a generator field spell from either deck or graveyard. Okay. And then we've got boss room. Uh... This one essentially says if my opponent would activate an effect in response to any of my generator cards or effects, I can discard a card to change the effect of both players' draw a card. 
Um, this saves me from Twin Twisters and Cosmic and Ash Blossom and Ghost Ogre. Anything. <laughs> Any interruption, almost. Pretty much, yeah. Uh, one Metaverse. Uh, this was a last minute throw in because I decided why not have an extra way to get it. Uh, this is my 41st card. <laughs> so. As long as you're not playing Upstart, who cares? <laughs> And then two judgment. Um, these things are cursed. Um, every time that I need them, they never uh, never work. <laughs> and whenever you drew them, you didn't need them. Exactly. <laughs> hey, you know what? Though better to have them than to not. Because just in case, man, the day where you said I'm taking them out is going to be the day you regret it. Exactly. Uh, two dark bribe because what? um. Yeah, the draw trigger. The judgments are cursed so i figured why not have some extra spell or trap negates and then the draw trigger right that's pretty nifty so did you i metaverse play... into the field spell activate this to negate something they draw a card and trigger the field spell <laughs> all right so don't tell me your last two cards are the one that negates monsters no nope. no no oh it's the true spice okay okay let's see it wonder xe oh my god Okay. When'd you throw this thing? <laughs> <laughs> Two weeks ago? Two weeks ago. Okay, so after we last played. Yeah. So, the amount of times that I have monstrosity in the Wonder XE to go into VFD during their turn. That's ridiculous. <laughs> that is ridiculous. It's a total blowout against most decks. <laughs> Alright, so let's see the extra deck. Okay. So we've got triple VFD. Triple? Yeah, because How? you don't want to banish it off of extravagance. That is true. Alright, let's see what else we got. Uh, one air slicer to be able to um, do anything against back row decks. Um, mm -hmm. So that's going to be really, really good. <laughs> um, dice and Swift. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Get me around Abramac. Okay, how many, how often do you summon this? I have never summoned this. Oh my god, of course you haven't. So you need to get you an old two, though. <laughs> One, enter Blathnir. Uh, this is my other out to Avermax, just in case if I banish the Dyson Sphere. <laughs> hey, it's a good car. The nine lives. This, this yeah. Uh... Really good. <laughs> I, I wanted to use it to steal somebody's Avermax or like a Boral Sword or anything, it and then just never happen. summoned it. <laughs> Gotta love niche cards. Uh, now for super poly targets. Uh, Starving Venom, because it's mm -hmm. two darks. Uh, Dragus Topelia, because mm -hmm. it's a dark and a fusion. Right, pretty easy this format. Yes. Uh... Brotherhood of the Fire Fist Swan. Excuse me? Because it is two beast warriors and Luna Lights lose. He's right, you know. <laughs> um, Armor Duke? Uh, Spiral. Spiral. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, App Cologne. Because Shadows. Right. <laughs> and it's a free negate upon something. And it's a free negate. Um... Earth Golem. What do you uh, use this against? This is good against uh, Math Mech. It's good against Adding Nisters, um, which I, I ended up going against Math Mech. Never drew Super Poly. <laughs> that sucks. <laughs> Never ended up going against Adding Nisters. All right, so let's see what else you got here. Uh, Mud Dragon. Uh, just... Because Mud Dragon. I can use my own monster and their monster because all of my monsters are different attributes. Right. It gives you that flexibility. Yes. And then my singular link monster, Borg Blocker. Of course, because retrieving the field spell is so good. Yes. Now, did you want to do the side? Yep. Okay. Starting off with uh, MVP. Uh, even though I only used it once, Retaliating C. What matchup did you have it against? Heroes. I kind of figured. <laughs> uh, total blowout against Heroes. Oh, he had I'm sure. nothing to do about it. I am so sure. That's kind of funny. 
Uh, triple Nibiru. Never used it once. Wow. Uh, triple Twin. Used it once. <laughs> uh, triple Evenly. Uh, used it once. <laughs> uh, triple DD Crow. Never sighted it. Really? Yes. Huh. Fair enough. And that's it. Yep. So, any changes you would make? Um, whenever uh, uh, Eternity Code comes out, and Lofter and uh, the new level nine boss monster come oh, out. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's who. This is gonna be good. <laughs> and reflecting upon this last event, what changes would you make to it immediately, if um, any? I'm taking the DD Crows out because I don't feel like they do enough right now. Uh, probably for something that does anything against Dinos because Dino is a hard matchup against this. Um, right, because it flips your monsters face down. And then well, just not because it them. flips my monsters, because it summons so many tokens. That is true. And. Uh, Ultimate Conductor can just tack all the tokens for game, and that's that is very much true. So, well, yeah, that does kind of suck. Yeah. All right. So, any shout outs you want to give? Uh, shout out to you for uh, the extravagances. All I can say is that you're welcome. <laughs> uh, shout out to Dalton for getting me into the game. Um, shout out to everybody at locals for. Uh, dealing with this for two months. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you made me want to play it. You made me want to play it. So there's that as well. And I hated this deck upon first seeing it. And I'm just like, okay, okay, now I got to get me some of this. Yes, it is so much fun to play. It, it requires some big brain plays, but... Oh, I'm sure. Resource management. Yes. You, you gotta keep track of the ten monsters that you have. <laughs> right. <laughs> so, any final words you want to say? Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Well, of course. Come on. <laughs> How could anybody forget to sub to me? I'm just a small-time Yugi tuber who does it very casually. All right, well, guys, this has been Insectoid BBG 101 here with Derek Crawford. He got 23rd place with Generators at the Lenexa, Kansas Regionals with nearly 300 players. Ridiculous. Thanks for watching, and have a wonderful day.